Hi, I'm Mark Bittman. And thanks to Signature Kitchen Suite, I'm here outside of Washington, D.C. to meet with Dr. Bruno Gousseau, the chief scientist of the Culinary Research Education Academy. Dr. Gousseau is also the father of modern-day sous vide. He spent his entire life exploring what precision temperatures can bring to our cooking. And it's more than about just taste. You're not going to believe what we see here today. The idea of sealing food and cooking at controlled temperatures has been around for thousands of years. Whether it's buried in the ground under hot rocks, as Dr. Grousseau saw in his early travels to Africa, or the French en papillot technique he grew up with, it's a cooking method that provides superior taste. But it was his background in science that led him to an aha moment one day in the lab that gave birth to what we understand today as modern sous vide. Dr. Bruno, I want to thank you for having me here. Your extremely cool, impressive lab in Virginia at CREA. Very much looking forward to our conversation. Thank you for, for your welcome. Can you tell me your story, how you became the, the world's leading authority on sous vide? The first time when I cooked for uh, Mr. Jacques Borel in France, he wanted to have a very tender meat in a roast beef with a very hard muscle. And I am in a lab, I have no oven, I have only circulator. And I explain, I can't. I say, you need to find a solution. And I find a solution, I put in a wrap uh, plastic, and I cook like that. You cooked it in a circulator? Yes. What was that circulator designed for originally? To grow the bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So was this your first experience with sous vide? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. So this was really an important discovery, but the innovation, the real innovation of sous vide is precise temperature, always precise. And precise temperature, the water is perfect because you have a good transfer of heat and you can regulate the water at the 0.1 degree. With the sous vide is a cooking method. You don't want to move the taste of the product in a water. You want to keep the taste of the product in a product. And to do that, you need to put a skin around the product. The goal is really to keep the flavor inside the food. So you're packing in a vacuum in increasingly sophisticated plastic materials. How does a consumer know that a, a kind of plastic is safe for sous vide? On the wrap film, you have the recommendation, don't use to reheat product. <laughs> don't use to heat. OK, so freezer bags that are resaleable, those are good for? Yes. So I, I think one of the things people are most surprised about is that you can cook something for almost as long as you like with sous vide and it will still not overcook. Can you explain that process a little bit? Because you cook in the water and you have a precise temperature, you have never overcooked. And with the sous vide, what for me is really important is the reproductibility of the process. Each time you have the same product, the same process, the same time of cooking with the same temperature, you have always the same result. You set the temperature right, you set the time right, and you will have the same result. Yes. I'd like you to tell me about the creation of CREA. In English, it's the... Culinary Research and Education Academy. So can you tell me how you formed it and what its mission is and so on? After a good experience, I have a sous vide technique with Mr. Robuchon. He's a very great chef. And always he said you need to transmit your knowledge. So Joel was an early adopter of using sous vide and he was encouraging you to open the center? Yes, he said, now we open a school to train the chef. 
So what happens here? What happens when people come here? You have three activities of career. The first is the research. The second is education, is training. And the third is the consulting. And the chef come in CREA to discover what is the sous vide technique. The first level is to discover the sous vide, discover how the equipment is working, and test on a meat, on a fish, and on a vegetable, on three days. And then after you can adapt the technique to their cooking uh, uh, product. Style, really, yes. to the, their own style. Style, product, and so, and so on. The modern method of sous vide offers so many opportunities. Thanks to Dr. Gousseau's lifetime of work, almost nothing is off limits. Meats, veggies, eggs, desserts, even cocktails can be made with incredible tastes and textures. And fortunately for the rest of us, there are simplified methods we can do at home. All it takes is an open mind and a little creativity. Dr. Bruno, I, I really want to thank you. It's, um, it's been très intéressant, so interesting. Not just the equipment, but really the history is fascinating to me. Your story is great and the food has been unbelievable. And most of all, it was just so much fun. Thank you so much. Thank you for your patience. <laughs>